Hello, kittens, and welcome to my first guitar tutorial of my Patreon. Thank you so much, all of you who have joined uh, the Patreon and who are helping make this possible. Um, this is a little uh, exercise on bending notes. Now, sometimes an issue that I notice uh, with some players is their bends kind of veer off into the unknown. You get things like... Etc. So what we want to do is clarify the target and build a path to there. So this is what I mean, and we're going to start with, this is very simple to start with. I'm just kind of here in a little sort of A pentatonic scale. So I've got my four fingers lined up here. I call this the gang of four. And they're on, it's on the high E string, and they're on frets five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to kind of stack them up. Do you see how I'm tilted this way? I'm not like this. I don't prefer to bend from this place. I find it not optimal. Uh, there's a, I find it comes from the fingers when I try to bend like that. But when I zoom, you see that? And then do you notice this? The thumb comes over the top. That's Tom Thumb there. You want to make sure that he's on the scene. Okay, you see Tom Thumb? And that's going to give some torque. You see, that's going to that's gonna be my ballast. And then this wrist action is going to do the work. It's not coming from the fingers, okay, on this place on the fret. There are other places where you certainly can use the fingers, but it's a very different matter up there than down here. Very different amount of pressure. There's a good amount of pressure we need to exert to get to bend this note. So let's talk about this note. We've got our pinky here, and it's on the 5, 6, 7, 8th fret. And we want to do a whole step bend. Okay, now the guitar, all the frets are laid out in half steps, right? Half steps. A whole step is two half steps. Right, so if I'm going a whole step here from this eighth fret, five, six, seven, eight, that means I'm bending two frets up. I'm going from the note C to D, right? That's my uh, starting point. That's my base, base. And D is my target. Now I could sit here and go till the cows come home and really not have a sense of what is involved in this place on the neck, right? This fret, this string from this base to this target. How much pressure do I need to apply? We might want to investigate, and a good way to investigate is what I call the siren exercise, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is play the bass note, bass, the target note. And then when I bend, I'm going to pick consistently right here. And as I pick like that, I'm going to commence the bend and listen to when I reach the, uh, from bass to target, when I reach the target, bass, target, siren. Okay, now I'm there. This is, if you're not experienced with bending, this is tough. <clears throat> this is a real workout. This is the difference between the person at the gym when they got the barbells and you see them, they just go like this and they just fling it at themselves. Okay. That's what, that's what that is. We want to be controlled. We want to know. We want to be fierce. Okay. So that's what the siren exercise is. Bass. Target, siren, hold as long as you can, then slowly descend, etc. 
So that's the siren exercise. So do apply it. Now there's more to this lesson and to unlock these um, secrets, please uh, subscribe to my Patreon. Um, uh, first tier subscribers get full episodes of my podcast. It's all about music, creativity, the guitar, self-help. It's got um, meditations, funny stories, and interviews with some of the most fantastic and intriguing uh, guitarists and creators out there. So check that out. And upper tiers unlock behind-the-scenes specials and demo recordings. I'm uploading stems of my songs. Lots of fun stuff. And of course, the Patreon will be a community that we all participate in. (music) 